Hello everyone. Today, I want to share a message that's really close to my heart. As Christians, we often find ourselves caught up in the world's standards of beauty and success. But the Psalms, they remind us that our true aim should be holiness, not popularity or physical appearance. The Psalms describe the righteous as those who live simply, prioritize prayer, and find joy in their relationship with God. Psalm 1 verses 1 to 2 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. True happiness isn't found in having the sexiest body or the most followers. It's found in the joy of family, friends, and a deep connection with God. The happiest people might not be the most attractive by worldly standards, but they are those who are loving, humble, and devoted to prayer. Modern culture often glamorizes infidelity and violence, but in reality, these acts make us miserable. Many celebrities who get sucked into Hollywood's underworld of excess and scandal often find themselves deeply unhappy. Despite their fame and fortune, they struggle with personal demons and a lack of fulfillment. On this channel, we emphasize the power of praying the Psalms. By doing so, we learn to worship God with the very words the Holy Spirit gave us to offer back to Him. We unite with our High Priest Christ in His eternal act of thanksgiving. Only through authentic worship in spirit and truth can we find true purpose. Satan knows this and works endlessly to steer us away from the Psalter. But by staying committed to this practice, we can resist his distractions. I, Victor and the Psalter, I invite you to join our layperson's movement called Watchers for the Son of Man. Our aim is to pray at least one psalm from each of the five books in the Psalter, culminating in the prayer of one entire division of the Psalms per day, and the entire Book of Psalms on Sundays. This movement empowers the laity and prepares us for Christ's return. It also sanctifies the Lord's Day. There is no formal registration. Just download our weekly psalm prayer plan from the link in the description and start praying. The psalms are the core of all Judeo-Christian prayer and worship. Let's, let's dive into this vast symphony of worship together and let's renew the face of the earth. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to pray the psalms.